right, so we just filled up with E85. Now, everyone probably knows it's 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. Uh, it comes out to typically around 105 octane, but you do have to watch it during the summer and winter. During the summer, it's a higher octane fuel. For a turbocharged application, you know, it, it's best to run it using summer fuel. You can buy E85 from various companies with the summer blend all year long, but during the winter, it will be a little harder to start, which is why the fuel companies actually change the blend during the winter. With the 85 being 105 octane fuel, we're gonna be able to run uh, probably about eight, or eight pounds of boost or so, um, where on pump gas, you can run five, five and a half. Um, so, you know, we're definitely going to pick up some power with just increased boost. The ethanol is going to cool the air down a little bit, so we're going to pick up power because it's even denser air than it already is with the air-to-water intercooler. Um, you know, it's pretty dang cheap. You know, we just filled it up for, I think, $3.29 a gallon, where premium fuel was 4 bucks almost. So, you know, there's a whole lot of things that make it a really good fuel. So we're going to go back, make a new tune for our Razor, re-clutch it for more boost, more power then uh, you know run it make sure we're happy with it then we'll take it out you know take it out in the field and uh, run some more so we're going to take out the normal injectors that we send in the kit and we're going to install some larger injectors the stock injectors that we send out with our kit while they're great for pump gas race fuel stuff like that for non-alcohol and oxygenated oxygenated fuels we're going to install some larger injectors that'll work with the alcohol and provide enough fuel flow. Right now, all I'm doing is reflashing the program and the fuel controller for the ethanol. Uh, it's gonna be a first guess, but it should be pretty close just based off the numbers. Um, now I'm gonna put this in there and go take it for a run, see what it does. So we got the new program in there, uh, you know, that we guessed on the program. I'm a little on the rich side. I'm looking for more in the high eights. Uh, we're in the sevens, which would be great at wide open throttle, but not for just idling around. But we're gonna go see how the rest of the program is. It'll work for now, it's just not the best. So we're gonna go take it for a run. much rich across the board so I'm gonna go back and make a change to the program and uh, give it another shot controller is set up we shouldn't need a different tune for different elevations it should uh, compensate for different you know uh, ambient pressures so you don't have to worry about whether you're at zero feet or whether you're at 14,000 feet it should work but that's why we take it out and test it and make sure tune in it I'm pretty happy with it but we're gonna have to get it back out uh, right again here at sea level take it to the dunes take it to high altitude make sure that it works everywhere you know we have it set up so it's fairly fuel efficient about as fuel efficient as you're gonna get on you know just cruising around but when you get in the throttle the air fuel ratios drop down where we want to see them with on the E85 Let's begin now. 